Mindset one, self-awareness. Self-awareness is the conscious knowledge of one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. It's how you view yourself from a third party's perspective. For example, when you set for yourself a sales target and you feel fear of achieving it, thinking that it's impossible to do so, then self-awareness at this point would be to acknowledge that you're fearful and start to investigate inwardly to understand why is there fear of growth? Does it stem from feelings of unworthiness or something even deeper? Having awareness creates the opportunity to make changes in our behaviors and beliefs because we're able to catch disempowering behaviors before they even become a part of our identity. To develop self-awareness, it starts with listening inwardly to your emotions, thoughts, and feelings. You first listen by identifying a situation in which you realize your beliefs don't serve you. Then detach yourself from that situation and inquire, why did you react in this way? Was it conscious, deliberate, on purpose, or was it out of fear, out of some sort of deeper level of fear? When you start practicing this on a daily basis, you'll be able to catch non-serving mindsets, limiting beliefs and actions before they happen and turn them into something that serve you better. Self-awareness has three aspects, self-control, self-reflection, and self-beliefs. You need to gain mastery over each aspect as a foundation to a bigger mindset. The first aspect is self-control. It's the ability to control oneself in terms of our emotions, our desires, and how we react to other people's behavior, especially in difficult and heated situations. The ability to exert self-control is called willpower. Heard of the quote, if there's a will, there's a way? When your willpower is strong, you'll be able to bring your team and company to a higher level and find a way out of challenges and adversities. Next is self-reflection, which is important for self-improvement. This is the part of acknowledging your wins and giving yourself feedback for improvement. To do self-reflection at the end of the day, sit down in a quiet area and reflect on what happened in the day. Was it your biggest lesson of the day? Something you can remember that was outstanding? Did you end the day as to how you intended it to be? Were your daily goals achieved? If not, why do you think it was not achieved? What you can then actively do to prepare for tomorrow and make things better is think. What can you actively do to prepare for tomorrow and make things better? Throughout this process, write your thoughts and suggestions on a piece of paper and have them as your personal or company goals. When you're setting your goals, be honest with yourself. Set goals that you're able to accomplish and strive to improve yourself day by day. This also translates into your company goals. The third aspect of self-awareness is self-belief. This is you believing in your talents and abilities with uncompromising conviction. This is very important because if you don't believe in yourself and don't believe that you're worthy of success, you'll be trapped in a self-fulfilling loop of self-sabotage. Here's a true story, and you've probably heard about this before, but lottery winners go broke within less than a year of collecting their winnings. If you do a web search on lottery winners who went broke, you'll see an extensive list. But why is that? It's because they weren't prepared to receive such a huge lump sum in one go. How big your business grows is proportionate to how big your mindset is. In order for your mindset to grow big, you must first discard your limiting beliefs. Take a look at your current belief system and ask if these beliefs are still, still serving you or are they limiting your potential to be better? Discard any beliefs that do not serve or hold you back and install new beliefs that push you forward. Remember that you and your business will only grow as big as you do. So grow yourself and your mindset to be colossal.